Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Libra. This is going to be for your September 2023. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look at someone that you were dealing with or is currently dealing with. We're going to see what this person did to you and then we'll finish off three to see why this person did it. What else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective, um, for the collective uh, Libra people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in uh, following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too, okay? So tell me about uh, Libra. Tell me about Libra. Libra. The person that Libra was dealing with is dealing with. Um, what did this person do to Libra? What did this person do to Libra for September 2023? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Libra. We have the Seven of Cups. Could be a situation that this is an individual that kept you as an option here. And I feel like over time with the Sun card, this could have been revealed to you, revealed to you here. You know, one of the things I'm getting is that with the higher fit here, I just feel like this is an individual that's just was not a very loyal individual. This person kept breaking their promises here. Okay. Kept juggling you. Kept dropping you like a hot potato here. I feel like you always wanted to work on f fixing things with this person. But Libra, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, King of Cups, I feel like this person kept running away. I just, I, yeah, I just feel like this was a non-committal individual. Uh, the Fool card here, Aries energy, Aquarius energy. I mean, they love what you gave to them. Yeah, they love what you gave to them. I mean, you gave them a lot of attention. You were really generous towards them, okay? You know, and I feel like you gave a lot, but I feel like this, this person kept taking and taking and taking. There was like no equal reciprocity here. King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. Uh, tell me about this Ten of Wands here. Why is this Ten of Wands here? We have the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Uh, Nine of Pentacles and the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces. I feel like this Nine of Pentacles might be you. I mean, I feel like this Nine of Pentacles might be you. Virgo energy here, pre-Empress energy. One of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you're completely ignoring this person now. Yeah, you're letting this person, you're letting this person go. Yeah, you're letting this person leave. If they want to leave and it blows their socks off, makes them happy, then they should leave. Okay, so I feel like this is coming from your higher self here. Yeah, this is coming from your higher self here. You're no longer fighting this person. You're no longer trying to, you know, trying to convince them to stay, convince them to change. You're realizing that, you know, this is a waste of energy. This is a waste of time. When you could re be redirecting that energy towards something else. What else do we have here for Libra? What else does uh, Libra need to know? Why did this person do this to Libra? Why did this person do this to Libra? Why did this person do this to Libra? For um, September 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Libra. We have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Wands. Seems like this person was definitely pushing away prosperity here with you. Page of Cups. Yeah, I just feel like, you know, Page of Cups, I just feel like this was a very emotionally immature individual. With the Five of Cups, we have a star. The reason why that they did this is that you were too good for them, basically. Yeah, they couldn't meet, they couldn't meet your expectations. They couldn't meet your expectations. And I feel like that's why this person did, the, did what they did here. Page of Cups and the Five of Cups. They knew that they would let you down. Yeah, they knew that you, they would let you down. And this person did. You know, this person might have even told you that. That, you know what, Libra, I don't have anything to offer. I don't have anything to give. You know, I am going to let you down. And when someone tells you that, trust that. Because they've done it before. The Star card, Aquarius energy. Six of Swords. 
Yeah, so I feel like you could have moved on from this or that you're leaving the situation behind. And I feel like you're going to focus on your healing here. You're going to focus on your healing. Yeah, you're focusing on your own pentacles. You're focusing on new beginnings here. You're definitely overcoming this heartbreak. I mean, this person definitely put you in some sort of third party situation here. Yeah, this person definitely put you in some sort of third party situation. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Page of Cups here. And the step, this person was just not very on. They're, they're just not very honest. They're not honest with themselves either. You know, with the Three of Wands here, I feel like this person doesn't even know what they're looking for. Yeah, I feel like they don't even know what they're looking for. Eight of Swords, I feel like this person has, you know, I do feel like this person is a very anxious and a very fear fearful individual here. I feel like this person's fears really get, get gets the best of them. It gets the best of them because I just feel like when things are safe, things are good, things are balanced here. It, this person gets gets really uncomfortable, and maybe this person self sabotages here too. The hermit, you're distancing yourself. Yeah, you're really taking this off. You're really taking this as a sign from the universe that. It's time to step away from this person and it's time to focus on your healing here. Yeah, you're definitely withdrawing yourself from the situation. Yeah, you're definitely on your own manifesting here. Yeah, manifesting what you want, focusing on your healing. I mean, this person could be an individual that's really manipulative too, but I just feel like right now you're doing what it takes to overcome the situation that you went through with this person. I feel like you know that you are good enough. And I feel like you know that you deserve someone here better too. You deserve someone here that's willing to give you what you want. You know, you deserve someone here that knows that they deserve you. Yeah, not toss you to the side or, 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 you know, or mess with you or play around here with you. Someone here who's serious. Yeah, someone here who wants what you want. You know, someone here who makes you really happy, vice versa, equal reciprocity here. Uh, you're supporting each other, supporting each other on each other's journeys, for supporting each other on their, your healing journeys here, okay? Um, so, Libra, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.